In order to work a lot of your homework problems, this particular website, in order for you to answer questions in interval notation, has some different ways of inputting things that make things easier for you. Because the keyboard doesn't have a lot of options for us when it comes to typing in things like infinity symbols, square root symbols, and other mathematical notations. This website uses generally what your calculator uses, which is nice, so you should be familiar with that, but also offers some additional things that the calculator doesn't do. For instance, if you need to use the union between two sets, you can just use a uh, capital U to represent that mathematical union symbol. You can put two lowercase zero, um, O's, not zeros, but O's next to each other, and it will interpret that as infinity. So, and you have brackets and parentheses, so that's just off the keyboard. You don't need anything fancy for that. But this gives you some examples. So if you, here is an inequality, in order to write that in interval notation, the way we express it is a bracket. So the bracket's on the keyboard, and then four, because of the greater than or equal to the bracket, of course, is inclusive. And then the seven is exclusive, so we put a parentheses around it. Uh, commas are on the keyboard, that's no problem. It's the infinity thing that is uh, often not seen. So for instance, the next set, x is less than two, to type that in, we put uh, parentheses and negative, and then you just type in zero, sorry, I keep saying that. You just type in a lowercase o and a lowercase o and the site will interpret that as infinity. So it will think that you are writing parentheses negative infinity. And then you put comma two and then parentheses around the two because it's just less than, and it will interpret your set just fine. There's some other examples here, uh, but to answer this particular question, what we need to do then is take the graph that's given and express that set in interval notation. So in interval notation, this particular set, what it's going to look like is uh, there will be a bracket around the one because we have a closed circle and that is included, although it's a negative one, so I'll type in a negative one. And then we have all the values included between negative one and three, but three is not included, so we would put parentheses. Now, if you ever need additional symbols, um, the site gives you a lot of hints, uh, and you might not notice them if you aren't looking at them. So right below the, in the answer box, there's a little bit of a hint here which tells you what it's expecting as an answer. So it's telling you, I'm expecting an interval and not just a number. Also, any type of additional notation that you need for intervals, if you don't remember the zeros, I keep saying zero, the OO thing for infinity, um, then press this down arrow and look, you've got buttons that will just give you the infinity. So you don't have to remember that stuff as long as you know where to find it. And it's generally just this little down arrow or up arrow, uh, depending on the question, right next to the input box.